Hey guys, Tyler here from GarageWarrior.com and today I want to talk about finger strength. So we're talking about the fingertip push-up. And this is a controversial exercise because a lot of people think that by putting pressure on your fingertips, you could be hurting or damaging the tendons and ligaments. Now here's the deal. When you do a bicep curl, you're hurting and damaging the tendons and ligaments. It's their ability to build back stronger that makes you stronger. So what's the key? The key is to use them as much as you can, to break them down enough, to stress them enough so that they adapt and change, but not too much so that they cause inflammation, uh, pain, and hurt you, and hurt your performance as well. So with the fingertip push-ups, should you be going from never doing them before, loading your fingers up, and just cranking out rep after rep after rep until your fingers are in pain? No, not a good idea. So how do you progress with the fingertip push-up? Well, quite simply, you need to start with simple things like holds. So one of my favorite things to do is just hold the push-up position. So you get in that fingertip position, you try to keep your fingers as straight as possible, almost like you're squeezing the ground with your fingers, and you just hold that position. Once you get good at holding that position, 30, 60 seconds, then you can start adding in the push-ups to that fingertip push-up. Now, if you can't even hold that position, you can hold it on your knees, right? Start real simple. And a buddy of mine, um, Matty, is able to do some pretty awesome stuff with just his fingertips. He's able to do one arm push ups and one arm bridge holds, just holding it with a couple fingers. I think he's even up to the point where he can do just a thumb or just a few fingers like that. And Bruce Lee was able to do one arm push ups on just two fingers. So, how do they do this? Patience, take the time to adapt over time to those stresses. I also heard about a Shaolin monk who could do a one arm handstand on just his two fingers like that. And they asked him, What's next? And he said, I'm going to get to being able to do a one-arm handstand on just my index finger. And when they asked him, how long do you think that's going to take? He said, I'm going to give myself two to three years to get there. So that's powerful. It tells you how much time you need to spend focusing on this in order to really make a solid change, build amazing strength. So fingertip push-ups do not hurt you. People doing way too many fingertip push-ups way too early is what causes the pain and the injuries. So start small, let your body adapt over time, lift the fingers until you're down to there, then go back to one arm, lift the fingers until you're down to there, then kick up to a handstand, repeat the process, and maybe one day you'll join the ranks of those awesome Shaolin monks doing a one finger, one arm handstand. If you guys dig this video, click the like button above, otherwise go to garagewarrior.com for some more awesome home workouts and tips on how to live the warrior lifestyle. Thanks for watching.